Hey there, automotive enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a question from JL about a frustrating issue with their son's Vauxhall Corsa. Let's dive into it and see if we can find a solution. J.L. explains that their son's 2013 Vauxhall Corsa Ecoflex Energy is having trouble starting when it's warm, especially after short stops like visiting a petrol station. They've already tried a new camshaft sensor and injector cleaner, but the problem persists. So, what could be causing this? Well, it seems like the garage might have missed checking for fault codes stored in the engine's electronic brain, also known as the ECU. This could provide valuable information about the issue. So, JL, make sure to mention this to the garage if they haven't already checked. Now, Here's the thing courses from this era are known to be sensitive to engine coolant temperature sensor failures. When these sensors fail, they give incorrect information to the ECU, making it think the engine is colder than it actually is. As a result, the ECU adds too much fuel, causing difficulties in starting the car when it's warm. To check if this is the problem, keep an eye on the temperature gauge while the car is running. If it shows a low value or no heat at all, even when you know the engine is warm, it's likely that the temperature sensor is faulty. Don't worry, though, because replacing it is relatively easy and affordable. The temperature sensor can be purchased for around £10 to £20, depending on the engine, as a brand name aftermarket item. You can find it on the left-hand end of the engine, on top of the water pump. Simply unplug the wiring harness, use a socket to loosen the sensor, replace it with the new one, and make sure not to over-tighten it. Plug the wiring loom back in, and with a bit of luck, the problem should be solved. So, JL, give this a try and let us know if it works for you. And for all our viewers out there, if you're facing a similar issue with your Vauxhall Corsa, this could be the solution you've been looking for. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more automotive news and expert advice. And remember, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, drive safe and stay tuned for more exciting updates.